There are 68 suits in Marvel Spider-Man that you can earn by playing. I want to showcase all of them and tell you how to get them. No major story spoilers in this video. I will do a quick spoiler warning at the end though when I show some main story unlocks. Let's start with Peter and the advanced 2.0 suit that you start the game with but can now also change in terms of color. After the second main mission called One Thing at a Time, you can immediately unlock a couple of suits. The classic suit that now also has colorways. I especially love the black variant. You're gonna also get the really cool Scarlet 3 suit with the hood, a variant of the suit from Ben Riley, the Scarlet Spider. Of course, the regular one is also in the game. More on that in a second. And after that second main mission, you can also unlock the regular advanced suit with a very cool black colorway if you want, which is an early taste of what is to come. I think the Kumo is an Insomniac original, but correct me if I'm wrong, really unique art style and look. It blends well in some of the environments. I used it quite a lot, you can already unlock it at level 6. Followed by the No Way Home hybrid suit on level 8. And there are by the way no colorways for the MCU suits or movie suits in general. As on level 9 you get the amazing suit from the Andrew Garfield movies. And also on level 9 you can get the highly requested suit, the amazing 2 suit from of course the second Andrew Garfield movie. I think it looks awesome with the bigger eyes, really cool that we can now use it in game. Then we have the Spider-Man 2099 black suit from the 2099 comics, of course. It's back from the first game, but we can now change the colors. And I thought it was cool to see this character and suit prominently featured in the Across the Spider-Verse movie, of course, recently. You can unlock this suit at level 11. The regular Scarlet Spider suit is also back and unlockable at level 14, but now we can change the look up with some pretty cool combinations. On level 15, you can unlock the Superior suit from the Superior Spider-Man series where Otto and Peter mind swap and then Otto lives in Peter's body and declares him to be the Superior Spider-Man. So it's pretty fitting that the next suit you can unlock, which on level 17, is the Anti-Ox suit. The final suit from the first game of course, but now also in cool white, red and even green colors with a pretty cool green spider. The Arachnid Knight suit is based on the Infinity Wars comics where you have an alternative version of Peter Parker that just like Moon Knight has multiple personalities. This is also the pre-order suit by the way so you can just unlock it at level 20 but if you pre-order the game you can use it immediately and I really like the cave for this one although it can glitch sometimes. The Into the Spider-Verse Noir suit is totally one of my favorite suits in the game it actually makes Peter's spider arms black as well which is really awesome and has the lower frame rate animated style that you can by the way turn off in the visual settings if you want I like it though makes it unique amazing suits that you can unlock at level 22 the homemade suit is back it of course appeared in Civil War and later in Homecoming you can get this one on level 23 another returning suit the spider punk also made more popular thanks to the across the spider verse movie movie now comes with some suit styles although the OG is still my favorite and you can unlock it at level 26. I used the Secret Wars Civil War suit a lot myself because it has the Vulcan wings as web wings. The only unique web wings for as far as I know. There are suit styles for it but I personally like the OG look myself. It's unlockable at level 28. At level 29 we got the returning Iron Spider armor that just like the previous game changes the color of the spider arms to gold which a cool touch and there are some cool colorways for it now as well. Yes, there it is at level 31, the webbed black suit from the Sam Raimi trilogy, of course the third movie, looking pretty sweet. And also the regular Sam Raimi web suit from the previous game is now also in Spider-Man 2. And you can unlock it at level 32. And I think it looks really good in Spider-Man 2 as well. Now moving on to more movie suits, the upgraded classic suit is in the game from Civil War. Also no suit styles for this one and you unlock it at level 35 and I really like this one, the new blue suit for when Peter joined a reformed version of the Fantastic Four in the comics. I like the blue one the most, the most iconic but there are variants for it and you unlock it at level 38. Then on 41 we have the upgraded suit from Far From Home. It's back just like the stealth suit that is now also a late game unlock at level 46. 
also from Far From Home. On level 50, you can unlock the classic black suit with the big eyes and the large spider, the original version of the symbiote suit, of course. And this also has a very nice wide version that you can use. The Iron Spider suit from Infinity War is also back in this game. Now also a late unlock at level 54. But it of course still looks cool. And it also changed the color of your spider arms. And maybe you already noticed it in some of the footage or while playing yourself. That they really upgraded their damage tech. If you now wear a suit for a long time it will get destroyed a bit. They really improved it over the previous games. And it just makes everything a bit more realistic. I really like it. More movie suits that were added to the previous game post launch. The new red and blue suit from No Way Home is an unlock at 58. And at 60 you get the really cool black and gold suit. Which of course Peter's suit but inside out. And 60 is the max level. But there are also some suits that you get from side activities. Without having to spend the resources to unlock them. Let's talk about those and all the mile suits of course. If you like the suit so far leaving a like would really support the channel. And subscribe for way more Spider-Man 2 content like this and let me know your favorite suits in the comments down below. You get the life story suit made by Insomniac from completing all the EMF experiments in New York that you can of course unlock early in the main story just go after these green icons on the map and you will get it in the end. It also has suit styles with especially the complete orange one being pretty unique. I do like it. If you complete all the flame side missions that I don't want to spoil then in the end you get the brand new saving lives suit. Not a huge fan of the regular color but the red yellow gray variant is really amazing. Now Peter also has some suits that unlock throughout the main story. I will talk about those at the end of the video. Give you a small spoiler warning. But the final non-spoiler suit for Peter is the Lost Hunt suit that you get for completing all the hunter blinds and bases. He has of course inspired by Kraven and is the only suit in the game that both Spider-Man have actually. So after doing this side activity you also get it for Miles with the same suit style which is pretty cool. Now speaking of Miles he has some really cool suits as well especially the high level unlocks are kind of wild. I like them more than what Peter has. So you start the game with this upgraded suit that now also has some pretty nice suit styles and just like with Peter after the one thing at a time main mission the second main mission in the game you unlock other suits like the family business suit that on the surface looks pretty standard but has this really cool visual effect with the suit styles changing the color of the light as well. You got the regular classic suits and now also with some suit styles. The track suit is back from the previous game but now also with some color variants. Although the original white look makes it I think stand out. Then on level 7 you can unlock the Brooklyn 2099 suit which seems to be made by Insomniac but correct me here if I'm wrong. Probably a like shout out to Brooklyn 99 as well right. It looks pretty awesome with the interesting spider on the chest. The sportswear suit from the previous game is back here as well. You can unlock it at level 10 and it now also comes with different colors. I'm not a big fan of the life story outfit myself. You unlock it at 12. The helmet in combination with the chest. Not really great although the suit styles add a bit more details to it. And make it a bit better. I love that the next one is back. The Miles Morales 2099 suit with the glowing eyes. That you also still have with the different color variants. You unlock this suit at level 13. On level 16 you get the advanced attack suit. With in particular the white suit variant looking very sweet. Although I got to say... I'm a fan of like full red and this red suit is pretty damn cool as well. At level 18 you got the Shadow Spider suit from the Marvel Champions comics. About an alternate reality version of Miles who wanted to avenge Peter Parker's death. And yes this also the pre-order suit. So then again you would unlock it immediately if you pre-ordered the game. Otherwise you unlock it at level 18. And yeah the cape here is also a very cool unique addition. One of my favorite outfits from Miles Morales. The 2020 suit is now back in Spider-Man 2. You only need to be level 19 in order to unlock it. And it comes with some pretty cool new variants that change the eyes a bit as well. Also from the previous game is the purple rain suit. That now also has different colors. So not only purple and you can unlock it at 21. And yes, totally the best suit from Miles' game. The Bodega Cat suit can now be unlocked way earlier in Spider-Man 2 at level 24. It also has different suit styles. And some come with a new mask for Spider-Man the Cat. 
And yes, you still have the funny takedown that is exclusive to the suits, but there are sadly no new takedowns in this game. I really, really like the Forever suit that Insomnia created for Marvel Spider-Man 2, giving some Black Panther vibes for Miles, especially with the black suit style, really awesome. You unlock this at the level 25, and then on level 27, you get the homemade suit from the Spider-Man Annual comic, and that one has some color variants as well. This next one is also, of course, great. The Into the Spider-Verse suit that is back. And just like in Miles Morales, it also has that lower frame rate option that you can turn off in the settings if you want. I can like it. Makes them feel unique and you can unlock this one at level 30 and then at level 33 you get the Into the Spider-Verse SB suit that is just awesome. Also with the lower frame rate from the start that you can change. A very cute a small cape. Really, really cool. The end suit from the previous game is back, but now with some suit styles. It's, of course, from the Miles Morales The End comic, and you can unlock it at level 34. And this one I used a lot, the 10th anniversary suit. That was made for Miles's, you guessed it, 10th anniversary. Totally cool to use it in pink. Not a lot of outfits like it, but I rocked the full red version, of course really cool you get it on 36 and then on 37 we get another returning suit this one made by insomniac the programmable matter and the suit styles are actually pretty cool as it changes the color of miles's mask chest hands and legs and the really cool animation that runs through the outfit as well strike is another returning suit but now with more prominent animated lines from the looks of it and yes you guessed it those also change with the suit styles and i in particular love the red variant with the purple arms and lights really cool so you can unlock this at level 39 at level 40 you can get the pretty slick agent of shield suit from the ultimate spider-man miles morales comics has some really cool variants as well and the great responsibility suit from miles morales is also back in the more iconic spider-man colors or you can also now give it the more miles touch you unlock this at 42. The Across the Spider-Verse suit is also in Spider-Man 2 for if you like the newer design. Also here it has a lower frame rate option on by default, but you can turn it off. This is a level 44 unlock and at level 48 we have the pretty nice Crimson Cowl suit. I love the original design more than the new suit styles we got. And really, from now on, it gets crazy. Because where Peter had a lot of MCU outfits that we already saw in the previous game as late level unlocks, Miles actually has some really nice new suits. Like at 52, you can unlock the best there is suit inspired by the What If comics, where Miles also becomes Wolverine. And yes, this is where the suit styles come in, because you can actually go for that yellow Wolverine look if you want really awesome from the dark ages comics you got the really insane dark ages suit that is very creepy i love the eyes and of course the hood that is standing up here damn look at the suit styles that all look amazing in their own right this is totally one of the coolest looking suits in the game period and you can unlock it at level 56 and then at the max level level 60 you can unlock miles's absolute carnage suit made by insomniac but inspired by the absolute carnage comics the symbiote webs over the body make it kind of creepy the eyes and the things like below the eyes make it really awesome just a nice suit for Miles overall. Miles also has some suits that you get from side activities that you don't have to unlock with resources. If you follow the instrument icon missions that open up after an early part in the main story, you can get the pretty classy city sound suit that has some visual styles as well. Miles can also help Brooklyn Vision students and if you complete all those requests that you can see with this icon on the map, they get the Boricua suit that has some pretty nice suit styles too. And for the next few suits, including one for Peter, we have to go into small spoiler territory. I will of course not mention any story spoilers in particular, I will just show you the suit, tell you how to get it, also not going over particular activities but i still wanted to give you the spoiler warning if you're leaving now don't forget to subscribe like that would really be awesome and let me know what your favorite suit is in the comments down below okay you're still here for miles we got the really cool smoke and mirrors suit with the really unique mask complete all the mysteriums for this 
and the rest of the side activity to be rewarded with this suit. And then these suit styles are really awesome. I love the eyes. Super unique outfits. Now Miles throughout the main story will at one point get this evolved suit where we actually see his hair which is kind of a nice touch. It's made by Insomniac. A little later in the main story you unlock an activity with this icon on the map. You can do them with both Peter and Miles but you only get an outfit for Miles. The really cool king in black suit with the awesome shoulder pads and some really dope suit variants as well including a kind of wild green one that I don't like in particular but it's still like pretty unique compared to the others and then for Peter we get this white suit the regular black suit that we've seen before already you get the symbiote suit that adds a symbiote web over the suit kind of making it more beefy so I'm curious Again, which outfit did you like the most or outfits are you going to wear or are wearing? Let me know in the comments. Subscribe for way more Spider-Man 2 content. And like on the video would really help me out. You can check out another Spider-Man video with way more info and tips and tricks by clicking on the screen. I will speak to you very soon. Goodbye.